The Eskimo Aleut languages, Eskaliut languages, or Inuit Yupik Unangan languages are a language family native to Alaska, the Canadian Arctic, Nunavut and Inuvaluit settlement region, Nunavik, Nunatjavut, Greenland and the Chukchi Peninsula, on the eastern tip of Siberia. It is also known as Eskalutian, Eskaliutic or Inuit Yupik Unangan. The Eskimo Aleut language family is divided into two branches, the Eskimo languages and the Aleut language. The Aleut branch consists of a single language, Aleut, spoken in the Aleutian Islands and the Pribilof Islands. It is divided into several dialects. The Eskimo languages are divided into two branches, the Yupik languages, spoken in western and southwestern Alaska and in easternmost Siberia, and the Inuit languages, spoken in northern Alaska, Canada and Greenland. Inuit, which covers a huge range of territory, is divided into several varieties. Neighboring varieties are quite similar, although those at the farthest distances from the center in the Diomede Islands and East Greenland are quite divergent. The proper place of one language, Cyrenic, within the Eskimo family has not been settled. While some linguists list it as a branch of Yupik, others list it as a separate branch of the Eskimo family, alongside Yupik and Inuit. History the Alaska Native Language Center believes that the common ancestral language of the Eskimo languages and of Aleut divided into the Eskimo and Aleut branches at least 4,000 years ago. The Eskimo language family split into the Yupik and Inuit branches around 1,000 years ago. The Eskimo Aleut languages are among the native languages of the Americas. This is a geographical category, not a genealogical one. The Eskimo Aleut languages are not demonstrably related to the other language families of North America and are believed to represent a separate, and the last, prehistoric migration of people from Asia. Alexander Vovin 2015, notes that northern Tungusic languages, which are spoken in eastern Siberia and northeastern China, have Eskimo Aleut loanwords that are not found in southern Tungusic, implying that Eskimo Aleut was once much more widely spoken in eastern Siberia. Bovin 2015, estimates that the Eskimo Aleut loanwords in northern Tungusic had been borrowed no more than 2,000 years ago, which was when Tungusic was spreading up north from its homeland in the middle reaches of the Amur River. Bovin 2015, considers the homeland, or Heimat, of Proto-Eskimo Aleut to be in Siberia rather than in Alaska. Internal classification Eskimo Aleut languages Aleut Western Central Dialects, Atkan, Atwan, Unangan, Bering, 60 to 80 speakers. Eastern Dialects, Unalaskan, Pribilof, 400 speakers, Eskimo languages, or Yupik Inuit languages. Yupik, 11,000 speakers. Central Alaskan Yupik, 10,000 speakers. General Central Alaskan Yupik language, or Yugton. Chevik Kupik or Kugtan, Nunivik Kupig or Kugtan, Alutiak or Pacific Gulf Yupik, 400 speakers, Koniag Alutiak, Chugach Alutiak, Central Siberian Yupik or Uit, Chaplino and St. Lawrence Island, 1,400 speakers, Chaplino dialect, Uazigmat. Street. Lawrence Island Yupik, Sivukamistan. Naukon, 70 speakers. Cyrenic, extinct, viewed as an independent branch by some. Inuit, 98,000 speakers. Inupiak or Inupiat, Northern Alaska, 3,500 speakers. Kawiarak or Seward Peninsula Inupiak. Inupiatan or Northern Alaska Inupiak, including Uamarmutan, Aklavik, Inuvik, Inuvaluktun, Western Canada, 765 speakers. Siglatan, Palatuk, Sax Harbor, Tuktoyaktuk. Inuanaktan, Inulakaktik, also known as Kangarayuarmutan. Natsalingutit, Natalik area, Nunavut. Inuktitut, Eastern Canada, together with Inuanaktan, 40,000 speakers. Nunatsiabumiudit, Nunatjavit, 550 speakers. Nunavimuditut, Nunavik. 
Kiki Talak Najiani, South Baffin Kiki Talak Uanangani, North Baffin Avalamiudit, East Central Nunavut Kivalarmiudit, Southeast Nunavut Greenlandic, Greenland, 54,000 speakers Kalalasu, West Greenlandic, 50,000 speakers Tunamisit, East Greenlandic, 3,500 speakers Inikton or Avanerswak, Polar Eskimo, approximately 1,000 speakers Position among the world's language families Eskimo Aleut does not have any genetic relationship to any of the world's other language families that is generally accepted by linguists at the present time. There is general agreement that it is not closely related to the other language families of North America. The more credible proposals on the external relations of Eskimo Aleut all concern one or more of the language families of northern Eurasia, such as Chukotko Kamchatkan just across the Bering Strait. One of the first such proposals was made by the pioneering Danish linguist Rasmus Rask in 1818, upon noticing similarities between Greenlandic and Finnish. Perhaps the most fully developed such proposal to date is Michael Fortescue. S. Aralo Siberian Hypothesis, published in 1998. More recently, Joseph Greenberg 2000 to 2002 suggested grouping Eskimo Aleut with all of the language families of northern Eurasia: Indo-European, Uralic, Altaic, Korean, Japanese, Ainu, Nivik, Galaic, and Chukchi Kamchatkan, with the exception of Yenisean, in a proposed language family called Eurasiatic. Such proposals are not generally accepted. Criticisms have been made stating that Greenberg's hypothesis is ahistorical, meaning that it lacks and sacrifices known historical elements of language in favor of external similarities. Although the Eurasiatic hypothesis is generally disregarded by linguists, one critique by Stefan Georg and Alexander Vovin, stated that they were not willing to disregard the theory immediately, although ultimately agreed that Greenberg S. Conclusion was dubious. Greenberg explicitly states that his developments were based on the previous macro comparative work done by Vladislav Ilyich Svetich and Bombard and Kearns. By providing evidence of lexical comparison, Greenberg hoped that it would strengthen his hypothesis. Despite all these efforts, the Eurasiatic language theory was overruled on the basis that mass comparison is not accurate enough an approach. In comparative linguistics, the comparative method bases its validity on highly regular changes, not occasional semantic and phonological similarities, which is what the Eurasiatic hypothesis provides. In the 1960s Swadesh suggested a connection with the Waukeshaan languages. This was picked up and expanded by Holst 2005. Notable features Every word must have only one root free morpheme always at the beginning. Eskimo Aleut languages have a relatively small number of roots, in the case of Central Alaskan Yupik, around 2000. Following the root are a number of postbases, which are bound morphemes that add to the basic meaning of the root. If the meaning of the postbase is to be expressed alone, a special neutral root, in the case of Central Alaskan Yupik and Inuktitut Pi, is used. The basic word schema is as follows, root, affixes, inflection, and clitic. Below is an example from Central Siberian Yupik. There are a total of three affixes internal to the word. Angya. The root, or free morpheme. Angya. And the inflection. T-U-Q. On the right consist of the indicative mood marker plus third person singular. The enclitic lu also follows the inflection. Following the postbases are non lexical suffixes that indicate case on nouns and person and mood on verbs. The number of cases varies, with Aleut languages having a greatly reduced case system compared to Eskimo. The Eskimo languages are ergative absolutive in nouns and in Yupik languages, also in verbal person marking. All Eskimo Aleut languages have obligatory verbal agreement with agent and patient in transitive clauses, and there are special suffixes used for this purpose in subordinate clauses, which makes these languages, like most in the North Pacific, highly complement deranking. 
At the end of a word there can be one of a small number of clitics with meanings such as but or indicating a polar question. Phonologically, the Eskimo Aleut languages resemble other language families of northern North America, Nadine and Shimshianic, and Far Eastern Siberia, Chukotko Kamchatkan. There are usually only three vowels A, I, U, though some Yup. Ik dialects also have all Eskimo Aleut languages lack adjectives, in which they resemble the Siberian languages more than the North American ones. Eskimo Aleut languages possess voiceless plosives at four positions, bilabial, coronal, velar and uvular, in all languages except Aleut, which has lost the bilabial stops, though it has retained the nasal. There are contrasting voiced and voiceless fricatives at the same positions, and in the Eskimo subfamily a voiceless alveolar lateral fricative is also present. A rare feature of many dialects of Yup. Ik and Aliud is contrasting voiceless nasals. Phonology Eskimo The following vowels and consonants were taken from Michael Fortescue et al., 2010. Vowels Eskimo t corresponds to Aliud, I. Consonants Inuit allows only a single initial consonant and no more than two successive consonants between vowels. Yupik lacks the consonant assimilation process so common to Inuit. Consonants in parentheses are non-proto-Eskimo phonemes. Aleut The following vowels and consonants were taken from Knut Bergsland, 1997. Vowels the Aleut language has six vowels in total, three short vowels, I, U, A, and three long vowels, I, U, A. Orthographically, they would be spelled E, U, U, and A. There are no diphthongs in Aleut vowels. The length of the vowel is dependent upon three characteristics, stress, surrounding consonants, and in particularly Eastern Aleut, surrounding vowels. Short vowels are in initial position if a following consonant is velar or labial. For example, the demonstratives uka, ika, and aka. Long vowels are lower than their short counterpart vowels, but are less retracted if they make contact with a uvular consonant. For example, ukachiang, blue fox, chikiks, storm petrol, and kaakan, eat it. Consonants the Aleut consonants featured below include single Roman letters, digraphs, and one trigraph. Phonemes in parenthesis are found only in Russian and English loanwords, the phoneme in italics is found only in Eastern Aleut, and the bold phonemes are a part of the standard Aleut inventory. Aleut lacks labial stops and allows clusters of up to three consonants as well as consonant clusters in word initial position. Noteworthy phonological features, lack of AP, and its unaspirated nasals. Morphology Language type Polysynthetic language Eskimo Aleut is a polysynthetic language, which is the process in which a single word is able to contain multiple post bases or morphemes. The Eskimo Aleut languages are exclusively suffixing, with the exception of one prefix in inictitude, which appears in demonstratives. Suffixes are able to combine and ultimately create an unlimited number of words. Some of the morphemes that are able to attach contain features such as carrying nominal subjects and objects, adverbial information, direct objects, and spatial noun phrases. Polysynthetic languages are said to have come from a form of extreme agglutination, which allows single words to carry the same information that another language expresses in whole clauses. For example, in Central Alaskan Yupik, one can say, As a polysynthetic language, Eskimo Aleut is concerned with what each morpheme means, which categories it can attach to, whether there is any category change, etc. and what type of morphophonological effect occurs to the left as it attaches to the stem. Morphosyntactic alignment Ergative-absolutive language 
Eskimo Aleut follows the basic word order of subject object verb SOV. Eskimo is an ergative absolutive language. This means subjects of intransitive verbs and objects of transitive verbs are marked with the absolutive case, while subjects of transitive verbs are marked with the ergative case. Aleut is not an ergative absolutive language. It doesn't matter if the verb is transitive or intransitive. Subjects and objects are not marked differently. If a transitive object or an object of possession is openly communicated, ergative case marking will not be expressed. If a transitive object or object of possession is not openly communicated, then ergative case marking will be expressed. Example of case marking in Aleut Syntax The syntax of Eskimo Aleut is concerned with the functional use of its morphological structure. The two language branches, although part of the same family, have separated and detached themselves in relation to grammatical similarities. Bergsland states that Aleut, which was once a language more similar to Proto-Eskimo than the current Eskimo languages themselves, has distanced itself from the ancient language. The case inflections, relative asterisk m, instrumental asterisk mek, men, and locative asterisk me have undergone phonological merger and led to a completely different explanation of ergative morphology in Proto-Eskimo. In order to further explain the profound changes that have occurred in Aleutian syntax, Bergsland proposed the domino effect, which is ultimately the chronological order of Aleut's unique features. Below is a step-by-step -step list of the domino effect. The domino effect The phonological reduction of final syllables and the ensuing syncretism of locative, relative, and instrumental case markers the collapse of the ergative system and of the distinction between relative and locative case in postpositional constructions. The development of the unusual Aleut anaphoric reference system from the debris of this collapse, going hand in hand with a strict fixation of SOV word order. The simple third person forms when the original morphemes began to refer to any anaphoric non-overt referent and the spread of such a reference own number, including that of a possessor of some overt argument, to the final verb of the complex sentence, overriding agreement with the subject. Vocabulary comparison The following is a comparison of cognates among the basic vocabulary across the Eskimo Aleut language family, about 122 words. Note that empty cells do not imply that a particular language is lacking a word to describe the concept, but rather that the word for the concept in that language is formed from another stem and is not a cognate with the other words in the row. Also, there may be shifts in the meaning from one language to another, and so the common meaning given is only approximate. In some cases the form given is found only in some dialects of the language. Forms are given in native Latin orthographies unless otherwise noted. Cognates of the Eskimo language can be found in Michael Fortescue et al., 2010. Cognates of the Aleut language can be found in Knut Bergsland, 1997. 